Hey, hey guys. guys, we are Cup of Tea Day. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're gonna do a taste test of the Singaporean spicy chili crab Ooh. instant noodles. Yes. Um, like in the last video, we did the black pepper crab version. Yes. And we really, really, really enjoyed it. The flavor was on point. It tastes very crabby. A bit prawny, fishy. Mm, it was really nice. So today we thought we would try out the Singaporean chili crab version. Um, we'll link the video. Somewhere so up here. this video. Yes, the black pepper crab flavor. And then if you guys haven't seen, um, we've tried out the Singaporean chili crab in the separate video. Yes. That we'll link as well. Yes, up here. And now, we are going to unpack this lovely instant noodle. We mm -hmm. have never tried this, so we're super yes, excited to try it. Yes. And then, we'll cook it. And then and we'll do we'll the taste test. Yes. So, so, let's see what's in here. Firstly, we have the instant noodles. Okay, it looks awesome. very similar to last time. Yeah, it looks like the same one as last time. It looks plasticky and very light, and it's not fried, I believe. It's white colored. Yes, it's, it's very white. Ah, it's air dried premium noodles, so it's not fried. Right. And yeah, it cooks in under six minutes, apparently. Let's have a look at the store packets. What do we have here? So we've got. Is it two packets again? Yeah. Oh, no, it's not. Ah. It's different. So I've got the chili crab sauce. Yep. Yeah. And I've got the chili crab oil. Okay. Yes. Wow, that's interesting. That's very exciting. Okay. Now we're gonna go cook our food yes. and we'll be back. I love coconut water. It's just, it's a bit of natural sweetness to water and it just like... Tastes better? Yeah, it just tastes better and it's good for you, it's natural. Is it really natural though? I feel like the... Oh, it works. oh my god, look at the sauce. Whoa! And I have my chili oil. Look at that. Okay, it's literally just oil. It's crab, chili crab oil. Yeah. Is, do you think it's flavored? I hope so. Or is it just then... really oil, chili oil. I don't know. All right, so I'll take this away and I'll be right back. So now let's mix the noodles. Yes. So compared to last time, the sauce portion is a lot smaller. Yeah. Last time we had double the amount of sauce. Yeah, we had two big packets of black bean. Sorry, black. Cup of crab, of crab sauce. sauce. Today we only have one packet plus some oil, so hopefully the flavor will still be there. Already I can see that the color is just not as um, strong and appetizing as the black pepper crab one. Yeah. That one was like very saucy. This one just looks kind of plain. So look wise, that one definitely looks better, more authentic, more appetizing. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that this one won't taste good. Let's firstly smell this and let you guys know what it smells like. It's okay, like it prawns, really? Yeah, like seafood. -y. I'm not sure if it's crab or prawn, but it smells like shells. Yeah, it smells like shells. Shells of prawn, perhaps. Yeah. Okay. But, okay. So. But it smells a bit different from the actual chili crab that we've definitely. had in Singapore. So far, the black pepper one is superior, in my opinion, both look-wise and smell-wise. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to be disappointed. It's meant to be better. Well, that one was really, really good. You rated it a nine. I rated it at 8.5. Yes. So let's try this and see what we do. Mm. What do you think? It tastes a bit sour mm -hmm. and not enough flavor. Mm -hmm. You can't really taste mm -hmm. much crab or sweetness of the chili crab because uh -huh. usually chili crab has a bit of sweetness uh -huh. at least when we try it if you watch a singapore vlog linked up here you know that we tried the crab there but this one's not sweet much it's just very mildly spicy mm -hmm. mild crab flavor mm -hmm. what do you think i think it has a lot of tomato flavor almost mm. the sourness from tomato mm. um, a bit of that crab shell mm. taste but not much of the sweetness from the chili crab that we had in mm. Singapore. That one is so appetizing, it's like you might keep eating it. Yeah, that one's very saucy and it, every like noodle is coated with the mm. sauce and it's very flavorful. This one is almost a bit plain. Yeah. A bit under seasoned. Is it? Not as impressive as we thought it would be. Oh my god. Yeah, and it, they only have one chili crab sauce. Mm -hmm. That's just... Oh, and there's prawns in the ingredients, so I think that explains a lot. Yeah. Well, prawn stock is 7.1%. Mm. 
There's dried shrimp. Mm. Mm. No wonder. It's not. It tastes more like prawn noodles. Yeah, prawn noodles, lack of seasoning, very starchy for some reason. Yeah, it's a bit spicy. Not, not impressed, especially considering after um, mm. trying the other one, which was very, very good. Mm. Exceeded our expectations. I would like to say that this one is below expectations. Yeah, but what is this though? It's I like think that's a small the piece crab. Of Sorry, the prawn meat. You go first. Oh, it's dried prawn, isn't it? Possibly, yeah. Oh, it's very fishy. Fun. I think it'll be very fishy. <laughs> you don't like fishy stuff, so. No. Wait. I'm not sure what I just ate. It's like crab. Or is that egg? <laughs> I don't know, but all I can say is the black pepper one is definitely, definitely worth trying. Mm. Whereas this one, I would definitely not buy again. Mm. Even if it was like a dollar only, I would mm. not buy this one again. Mm. It tastes like cheap tomato sauce with a bit of prawn shells. Prawny noodle that's very sour. Mm. Not much umami not flavor. Mm. Not impressed. So, um, what's your overall rating of this? So last time I gave the good one an 8.5. Mm -hmm. This one, the noodle is the same. The noodle itself is pretty similar. It's the same it's noodle. Not bad. Yeah, very chewy. Fried, so that's yeah. good. Um, Flavor-wise, there is a bit of prawny. Mm -hmm. Crabby flavor and garlicky, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a bit chilly, so it's okay, but definitely not great, not on point, not close to what I'm expecting, mm -hmm. and not something I would eat again. So I would give it a six max. Wow, okay, how about you? Yeah, so I think based on the fact that the seasoning is not really on point and it's not really close to the Singapore chili crab flavor mm. we've had in Singapore, um, I give it around a 6.2. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's just not there, but the noodle texture is good. Um, and if you're if you don't like really flavorful, heavily seasoned instant noodles, you might enjoy this. But I really think that it's just lack seasoning and flavor. Would you buy this again and try it? No. Would what you? about the other one? The other one I would. Mm. That one is really good. This one is very poor. Very, very bad. Sad. Yeah. Oh well. We're sad. It is what it is. Mm. Worth a shot. Yes. And you said that when you. When younger, you tried the, the laksa flavored one. Yeah. And that one was good. Yeah. So maybe we can try that one next. Yes. If you guys would like to good. see us try more flavored instant noodles around the world, or um, maybe the laksa one next from Lamia, then please comment below, subscribe to our channel, like our video, um, and let us know what you want us to try next. Yes. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. So don't forget to subscribe. And give us a like to support us. Yes. And we'll be back next week with a new video. See you guys. Bye guys. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.